On Tuesday, a statement was released by joint medical stores indicating that the National Drug Authority had issued a note recalling and stopping the use of 15 different types of drugs. All these pharmacies have already been notified. They know already countrywide that these products have been red flagged. So they will not sell it to you. According to Dr. David Nahamia, the secretary to the National Drug Authority, the reasons for the recall of drugs is not at all related to drugs having adverse effects. The case for the listed drugs originates from the failure by the manufacturing company to comply with the good manufacturing practices which the National Drug Authority discovered after inspections of the manufacturer's facilities were made. And in this case, this factory had been inspected three years earlier. But this time we went, by the time we gave it the license, at that time it was what? Complying. But this time when we went, we found it was not com complying on some critical issues. So we said there is a risk of using these products. So that was the trigger. Nahamia says the recall should not worry Ugandans since the authority undertakes post-marketing surveillance activities to ensure quality and safety of medicines and health care products. For us, a recall for you it can make news, but for us, it may not make, because it is our daily, we recall. The pharmaceuticals who have been distributing the drugs in Uganda are supposed to finance the withdrawal and destruction of the recalled drugs. We have a road plan. Astra Pharma, in liaison with the manufacturers, they will, they will make sure they pay for the destruction, for the incineration. This is not free of charge, but for us, we are, we are there to ensure that we observe. Even if it takes 12 hours, we have to, we have to watch how they are being loaded into the incinerator to make sure they are completely incinerated. Patrick Senyondo, NTV Weekend Edition.